The mansard roof is one of my favorite roof structures. To create it in SketchUp, we need to use the offset tool and a feature called auto fold that's going to allow us to move the plane up in the blue axis. Now a little tip about the mansard roof is its shape is really iconic and characteristic because back in the 17 and 1800s, you were taxed on the number of floors you had in your house. And because this area of it was essentially the attic or roof space, it didn't count as a floor, although the ceiling heights were high enough to adequately house any number of bedrooms that you could fit in the shell of the house. Now to create it, we could use follow me as we did in the previous ones, but it's a lot easier using offset and autofold to bevel the edges up. First thing we're going to use is the offset tool, which is right here. It's also F as a keyboard shortcut. I'm just going to offset the outer edge. If you're familiar with AutoCAD, offset doesn't work the same way in SketchUp as it does in AutoCAD. For example, in AutoCAD, you offset by clicking on an edge and then moving inward or outward. SketchUp, however, really just is referencing the face, and you just want to look and verify where that red dot is because that's your reference point. So I can infer here. I'll simply click once to start my offset. And my second click can now either be inside or outside. And it's just important to note to have your cursor in that direction before you type in the value that you want to offset. We're going to offset two feet. So I'm going to move in. I could either type in two feet, or if you want to type in inches instead of feet, just type in 24. Now remember like the push-pull tool that it remembers your last push-pull distance? Offset tool works the same way. So if you need to create a stepped pyramid here, you can double click, find the face, double click, find the face, and double click. It's a great way for creating a stepped pyramid. So if you wanted to, then you could push pull these up all at different heights and then double click. Let me undo just to get back to our mansard roof. Now the next thing that we want to do is we need to Extrude this up, and I believe it is four feet. So first thing you might think to do is to take the push-pull tool and push-pull this up four feet. It will work, but you have a lot of extra geometry now that you have to create. You'd have to take the line tool and basically just retrace in all of these edges. If you click on the X-ray mode, which is this little mode right here, you'll see it creates all that extra geometry inside your model. And if you're slightly OCD like myself, you'll want a clean model without any visible geometry that you don't need. So I'm just going to undo. And instead of push pooling, we're going to use auto fold. Auto fold is a feature within the move tool. So if I click on the move tool and I hover over this face, you can see at the bottom it says command equals auto fold. So if I click to activate my move, because I'm on this surface, it's sort of stuck to it. What I want to do is force it to go up in the blue axis. To do that, you just click Command, and it enables Auto Fold. You see a little folding part to the bottom right of the cursor. And now you can fold this up in the blue axis. And again, we want four feet. So now just type in four, eight, enter. So that creates our initial bevel of that. If we want to adjust that, Maybe we want it to pitch a little bit more. We can actually use the scale tool. So notice as I double click, it selects the surface and edges. A single click just selects the face. And a triple click selects the entire object. And this will be useful later on as you're selecting geometry in SketchUp. But for right now, we just want to double click, take the scale tool, and we get nine green squares to pull from. We could pull uniform scale from opposite positions. We can pull from just the red scale or the red direction or the green direction. I want to pull from one of the angles because I want to keep it all in the same proportion. But as I'm pulling it, I don't want to pull it towards that one edge. I want to hold down option to pull it from the center. So see how that reference point moves from the far corner to the center. And now I can bevel this in or out a little bit more. The last thing that we want to do is for runoff, we want to create that top pitch that is really subtle to see. And to do that, we're going to take the line tool, 
and just draw an X across our model. That way we have four separate faces. And then take the Move tool and move the center point up in the blue axis. Now I'm just going to move this up two feet, or 24 inches. Press Enter. There you have it. Very simple mansard roof. Next, we're going to finish up the modification tools by creating the gambrel roof.